Okay. We are lacking our first round of cards that we like to see. Let's. Um, who are we playing? Blaze of Glory. Move a non neutral unit from your deck to your graveyard, then damage an enemy unit by its power. Not from your deck to your graveyard. Okay. Is that really useful? Um, Aaron Dyer this time is not that good in, in here, but is it worth clicking it? In my eyes, yes. Well, maybe the wrong decision. Is this going to be a veteran raid warrior type deck? Right, we don't have any of the cards that we would want. Um... So maybe we just play Windham on this room, or mm, Red Knight first. No, let's go Windham. Down with Amir. Okay. So I'm feeling it's definitely a raid deck. Oh, here comes the crows. Crow raid. Um. Sure, let's stick a red knight out there. Well, that doesn't really just miss the uh, Aaron die. I mean, we have AA if we wanted to bring out something. For example, of Vandergrift. I'll got you like fishes. Play a raid from your deck, and they're playing Blood Eagle. Bricked. Am I bricked, or is AA bricked? AA isn't bricked. Oh, Simon. Anyway, they, they played this, and then, I mean, if I had my Squirrel, that would be really nice to, to be getting rid of that Echo card, but sure. Damage an enemy unit by three if the target is damaged. Repeat the deployability with a different target and decrease the damage by one. Okay. Well, I don't know. What are we doing? Or we can play a squire. Oh, that's gone to the front. Um, sure, let's we'll play a squire. A Anxiety simulator. What's the train stack? You didn't give him a GG. It's just rude. Anyway, because they're raid, they are managing to kill everything because they've used these cards twice. If I play this, the same story will happen. Run a GG. He said you are an anxiety simulator. <laughs> Something along those lines. I I don't make up the rules, but apparently those are Simon's rules. Um, I have no idea what is the route out of this round. Playing anything will just die. I mean, I can boost this with Mad Charge, but it seems pointless. Charge plus shield on this guy. I hope this is what you mean. Time. <laughs> I am the rope. Feel the rope. Be the rope. Lose to the rope. Get roped out. I'm, I mean, I should have stopped. I mean, sure. I mean, we can play Knight Errant now. This doesn't really help. A, A, whatever. Just so it stays alive. Can do it for like a red knight. 
Or a Vandergrift. It's my Vandergrift party. So... You said whatever, so if this is wrong, then... But it wasn't me. Anyway, it also just gets us enough to Erendine, so I'm happy with that. Here is Facusia. Facusia? They've also rained us. Non-neutral unit female graveyard with a provision cost of 10 or less and give it doomed, then spawn rain on the opposite road, duration equal to the unused provisions. I see. Pass or whatever. It is good advice. Especially with those two under rain. A card up. We don't really see ourselves winning. It would be nice to be able to like do something, but sure. Because anything we play small is just going to get raided out or something. I don't know. So with round two, our aim is... Get Vandergriff to Grace. Well, there's Immortals. Um, what of those things? Maybe not two Knight Errants? Mm. Squirrel. Damage unit by seven. Well, there goes that plan. Right, so what in their graveyard do we really not want them to have? Like, are they going to be trying to bring back one of these? Or should I leave? Two pills a day. Hello. Sorry, you messaged earlier. I didn't see. But welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a great day. Um, Annihilated. Oh, my Vandergrift. Fine. But like, okay. If you had a squirrel, would you play it now? Nothing. Just don't lose. I don't know. Fine, we'll do it in Immortals. And I can't promise not to lose. In fact, I almost promised to lose. Just don't lose very easy. I mean, there you go. I did it. It only required me not using my Immortals fully, but... What was this? What, me playing Immortals? I didn't expect him to actually pass. He's a card down. What a nice man, he gave me a card. I know. Um. Do I need my Squirrel then? Let's say no to that. Right. Um. Check his graveyard. So he's got a raid card. Like, I don't know if he's going to come out with tier, but probably not if he's been playing this. Right, anyway. Show me the cards. Click something. Click you. Yeah. Right, I go first. Let's just go for... Scenario. I mean, maybe I should start with Squirrel. Why didn't I click the Squirrel? Doesn't matter. Squirrel has six. One of these two. Can do. Yeah, because he might try and replay it. Play a bronze warrior from your graveyard. It's too late for this, isn't it? Is he going to play another one? You can't play two of these, but... He would have just played the other one. Um... Well, I mean, I can play it now. One of the rare matchups where he won't overkill that much. Save Heatwave for tier. Okay. Should I be saving the Squirrel then? Or... Uh, 
And this veteran is probably better than this one. I know he's... I don't know. It's useless. Play it. Who knows what to do? He may have the, um... the cards to bring back more. He may not. All we know is that he is deciding. Oh, here comes two. The squirrel just cost you around 24 points. Maybe. Will not elaborate. I mean, there, there's a card. Sure. I mean, it's the, the veteran. But, like, he would have just chosen another one, right? Anyway, we're killing this thing with Heat Wave. Because that isn't strong enough. Why is that so weak? Anyway, we do have Heat Wave, right? Yes, we do. I'm always passing. But you told me to pass. Pretty sure. Um right, we've we haven't played two of those. So we wanna we wanna play this. Or do we wanna yeah sure, let's just play that. Then we'll play the maiden. We just need to go to, uh, go to points, I think. Sure, he may have a big point slam at the end. Sure, he may have like better cards, but we're not worried about those. We're just going to play for points. He has like two more raids. Okay. So you know, like five seconds ago when I said I wasn't worried about his cards? Yeah, I'm kind of worried about his cards. Uh, boost off by two, increase the value by one whenever excess damage is dealt to an enemy unit. At the start of the game, trigger the veteran ability of your units. Maybe I should have realised that. And... It's fine. He's done his thing. The, the question is... I should play this anyway. Because he... Is he going to be able to cut it out right? If he does, then well, we'll play to him. Um, but we won't do another one. We'll see what he does. Small chance he will. Well, and if he does, then we just say congratulations, GG. He played some excellent cards there. Why didn't I get the cards? Why don't I have the skill? All these things. Right, so he did this. Hit the shield. You don't know why I didn't lead her? It wouldn't have triggered Grace. It would have triggered Grace. Okay. Oh, but also there was a gap on the end. So. Um, you know, if I put this down, or maybe I put this down, that was risky. You have to play risky, otherwise you win <laughs> comfortably. Um, I mean, I kind of want this in here. Just to put it on the end, we'll do that. Be warned, my sword is mighty. And then, I don't know, we'll 
He said second and lowest, so we'll, we'll do that. Although he's just going to get rid of it. Because it's... He'll probably have a raid card with six damage now that he's played three raid pluses onto it. Anyway, next turn if he hasn't, then I'll boost it. Either way works. Yeah, it was... It was to stop losing the boost on the, the Maiden, which is why I didn't put it in the middle, but it's dead anyway. No. Interesting. I'm not quite sure why he would choose that one and not this one, but... Maybe points value? Um, we can put this Squire out now. I'll probably let everything live. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, give those things a shield. Feels really bad hurting people. Yeah. No retreat. Not he one step. It's it's funny because I I don't know if, if he just thought that he misplayed it, and he thought, well, now that I've misplayed it, I can't win it. He knows. <laughs> he just didn't want to win. Um, he couldn't bear to kill something. So yeah, he he had all the cards in his hand to win. He was just like, you know what? I can't do it. Um, oh, I have broken the game. We have reached prestige one by leveling up after reaching level sixty. And I've also confused the autumn cycle because it was doing lots of things in the background. What have I done? I don't know, I must have done like three or four of those because it's boosted me up like three ranks. Did I get this card? Hey, it gave me a free card. Is it one that I already have two of? I think so. Um, and one of those, and great, this is awesome. I like getting things for free. Um, I mean, I think that's a good place to end the stream because, you know, we are... A bit past when I would have done kegs. Well, okay, let's do some kegs. A quick bit of kegging, and then then I'll go. We'll, we'll smash some kegs. Um, now that I have that boost, we're getting extra stuff. It feels good to prestige and get stuff. How many would you want? Five, and we'll leave ourselves some time for the next, or we just do them all? Let's leave ourselves some for next time, because we'll need to do some. All. I mean, it's a difference of two. It's not going to break. Okay, if we don't get a legendary, I'll do the other two. Mash, bash, me, thrash. A demon pirate, a bear witcher adapt, uh, and create blacksmith, a bear witcher quartermaster, which we only have one of, so that's actually useful for now. Damage an allied unit by one, then spawn a witcher student on this row, so it's not actually useful. Fine. And our Razzies. Well, we already have all of them. So I guess we will just go with the Bear Witcher, given he was a Bear Witcher person. Um, one game of fewer than end. I mean, it's a bit late now. Chalk it up that I, um, I definitely owe a viewer game next time. So we'll definitely do a couple next time. Um, but it, yeah, it's a bit past Quarky Flux's bedtime. Um, I guess it's an easy choice again. We're just going to go with the Drum and Shield Maiden, who, when this unit takes damage, summon all copies of self from your deck to this room. I think we've read this before and discarded that. Um, Svalbard Butcher. Demon Pirate, Heime Protector, a Messenger of the Sea, which again, we've already got. Razzies. And our Razzies. They're just going to keep giving me this. I mean, I'm closer to having a Pirate deck than I am a Cultist Stuart deck with Skellige, so let's go with that. And none of it is premium, so that's fine. Whack, bang, Heime Protector, Crozai Rhizome, Drummond Villager, we have. A Crow Clan Druid. Banish an allied crow, then play a four provision alchemy card from your graveyard. And give it doomed. Interesting. Crow spammy. Goody. 
Well, maybe not crow spamming itself, but definitely involves crows. The choice here is interesting, given they're all on one. Are we looking for an Axeman who damages a unit by the amount it is already damaged? Maybe. Um, or maybe not. That's not that useful, is it? Boost itself by number of unique allied beasts, so that's a beastie deck. But then damaging itself and boosting things again. Did you miss any good cards? Nope. We have not hit anything above a rare, a blue rare at the moment. And it keeps giving me this, so I'm not going to pick it again. Um, let's just go for one of these. A Dimon Smuggler. If played next to a ship, spawn a base copy of self on this row. Do we have this earlier? Damage unit. Yeah, we've only had the guaranteed things. But at least it's nice that we're having like extra guaranteed things, right? Now the pirate, a fanatic. Uh to a search invader. And we get a premium. That's the first interesting thing, so I guess we'll take that. Okay. Prices for humans of all walks. And I, uh, I'll 80 powder. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll just, I don't know. I think we're keeping that. Um, I said if I didn't hit any legendaries that we'd do two more. So, I don't know why I clicked that. Buy one more Skullgar. We're going to buy two more. Because I said... If we're not hitting legendaries, we need we need another. Well, I mean, we've got an epic. And crates. Drummond Warmonger. Berserker. We have found Kelpie. Spawn rain on an enemy row for zero turns. This value is increased by one for every three starting beasts in your starting deck. Whenever an enemy unit takes damage from rain or storm, boost a random unboosted allied beast by one. Rain Skelliger support. Kelpie and Kraken. This is true. Uh, this next one's going to be Svalbard or Fukuja. Okay, yeah, maybe the next one. Um, and I guess, because we've got two of those, we'll take another Sea Serpent. Crack, only need Melusine, Fukuja, Ryogan, and Fulmar. Yeah, we only need all those cards. Anyway, uh, Sval, Blood, Butcher, Crow Messenger, Armor Up. Primal Savagery, which we have. A Strabog Runestone, which is alchemy. Create and play a bronze Skelliger card. Your, I mean, it's not Rio Gang, Rio Gang. And Blue Boy Lou Vice is uh, your, your vote. Whenever this unit takes damage, damage a random enemy unit by two. I guess, I don't know. Is that really... That good. He's only seven provision, I guess. I uh, don't think the alchemy deck uses runestone anyway. It's just meh. How many points is it? Five. To create and play a bronze Skelliger card. Yeah, I guess you would just include a bronze Skelliger card. Self bleed. Oh, this guy. Because you just damage yourself. Then you heal yourself. But you've damaged the enemy a lot. It's nice. Um, and we got a couple of good things there. I mean, we've got more reward points. And Do I leave them for next time? Oh, it's just... Okay, two more. We we're so close to three more, but we'll do two more. Because the Trine feels it. We were just starting to get epics there. I mean, there is a point where it guarantees you a, um, a legendary, right? We're probably close to that point where it guarantees us a legendary. Right, Seagull, Ancrate, Bear Witcher Adapt, Pro Clan Druid. And the Razzies, well, nothing premium, so we'll just take the middle one. A second one of those. And that's it, in terms of interesting things. We have a, all of those. 
we definitely have one of those. And our choice, we have all of those, although we only have one of these. But, you know, nothing premium, so I guess we'll take a Donovan. And that's it. I did more than I said I would, and we still didn't get a Legendary. Um, but yeah. I wanna... What are we, 15 minutes over, so, you know, you've had good value, I think. Uh, yeah, I wanna thank everyone for joining. Uh, everyone who's come back again, who we had, Citrine, two pills a day. Uh, Simon's been here, I'll gladly break it. I saw Chu earlier. Um, who else did we see? I'm not forgetting you, Kugus, but you're new, so I can say that. Thank you for all the new people who are here, Kugus included. Um, if you are new here and you haven't said anything, but you're in the background watching, feel free to leave a follow if you want to see me again. Or if you want to see out all, you know, all the uh, progress that I've made, which some people would say isn't very much progress. There's a whole bunch of videos on YouTube. You can go watch those. Um, Kugus said he saw me there. Um, I believe him. He said I was um, commenting on people's sleep. Excellent. I don't know. Did I? Once. Um, if my voice helps you put you, you know, helps put you to sleep, I'm, I'm very happy for it. Please watch me some more. Anyway, I'm rambling. Tomorrow I will be online as well, but I'll be playing Starfield. Because Saturday Starfield. I don't think anyone's gonna watch Saturday Starfield, but if you're around, feel free to jump in and say hi. Um and then yeah, I don't know what Monday's gonna be. But I'll definitely be back on next Friday. And I'll be playing Gwent. And yes, Friday Night Gwent is a thing for me. What is the plan in terms of raiding? Seeing as I've said all my end things, is anyone else online to raid? No one I am aware of who speaks English. Well, Spanish English. Anyway. I guess we'll just end it here. Uh, yeah, so I want to thank you very much for joining, and I hope you have a great day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thanks, and good night. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, and if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe, or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated, or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.